Dr. White was a nationally known humanitarian responsible for the development of social programs, serving a disadvantage of Northeast Florida. Named in memory of her mother, the Clara White Mission was established by Eartha White as a soup kitchen in 1904. Eartha's mission quickly expanded into a senior center, a hospital, an orphanage, a program for delinquent youth, employment training, a recreational park, and an alcohol recovery program, and housing for veterans and the homeless. Eartha was one of Jacksonville's first professional social workers, first female realtor, the first black census taker in the state of Florida. She was a school teacher and a soprano with the first ever black opera company in the United States. Eartha owned and operated a laundry company, a taxi service, janitorial service, and she earned over a million dollars in her lifetime that was all spent in service for mankind. This neighborhood was called like, the historical villa. So if you see the man on the piano, you see the singing voices, all of that is supposed to remind you. To get off the streets, exhale a little bit. Um, they can do their VA business up on the computers. We have entertainment TV, they watch movies. What are they watching today? What is this? Steven Seagal. Of course. I knew he'd make a, a comeback. Yeah, I just put Steven down for a minute. <laughs> Um, we also have uh, various meals here, like tomorrow's going to be a lunch served by the kitchen. Okay. Next Thursday will be breakfast and it alternates every week. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I wasn't going to, no, that wasn't going to, I can do, I can do way more. And they come in here, we work from 7 to 11, and then we do it from like 12 to 3. Okay. So, and I, I've been one along with a few other people to go in to walk up. And I'd like to see more food come in here. And that's what I was saying. Yeah. ...to the museum, aside from the few offices, but when she was living, this was her living quarters and her office. So she lived here, worked here, served here, ate here, slept here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Back to the city limits. It was a completely different neighborhood historic Moncrief Springs. And so people who lived there had their own community, their own parish, their own governing system out there. Right. And then it got consolidated in Jacksonville. But that part of um, the city is, um, we're still discovering it. Mm -hmm. um, so anthropologist and author Dora Neale Hurston worked as a historian with set in Trinity to record interviews of the research on field songs and folklore from Florida's migrant workers. Um, so some of those things are actually documented in recordings as a typewriter. She had an immense book collection. And I mean, think about how we use the internet today. They had to use books. So if there's anything she wants, you know, she needs to
trim top was made in 1930. Uh, let me see. In support of the perpetuation of the highest ideals of womanhood, service, and achievement, for which the council was founded in 1935 by Mary McLeod Bethune. This is a life membership of the National Council of Negro Women. I'll use that, you know. Oh, yeah. Sleep is not a high priority for her. She's very frugal, so she doesn't live in excess. As a matter of fact, when you go to the bedroom next door, that one's much bigger, and she dedicated in the company of men. And she out here, like, running these streets and doing things. And that's inspiring. And I mean, she inspires so many other women. I like this one. So this is her maybe, like, in her 30s. And this is what they're doing. And this is her bedroom. This is where she slept. This is the smallest of all the bedrooms on this floor. And we say she had a bed, but never really used it because she would work and work and work and work and work. Yeah, so, yes, she was a woman of faith. She's at a room where she typically, a person like her would not be. A black woman in these spaces with these men of influence. And who has it all to her. And so she and this black Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, share, subscribe. There is so much more to learn about this amazing woman. So if you're interested on in coming to the museum, please visit ClaraWhiteMission.com and there you have all the information you need. Thank you so much, Eartha White, for sacrificing your life to help others. We love you. We appreciate you. And your legacy will live on forever and ever. You are the true definition of a strong black woman. We love you. Peace.